Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be looking at the different mini games that I have been implementing into my pet roleplay game, My Droplets. It has been in development for the past five years. Right now it's pretty dead, but we are trying to make it come back. So if you're interested in following along on that journey, then you should subscribe to this YouTube channel and like it as well. And let's get into the mini games that I have been adding. Most recently, I've been working on improving the mini game system in my droplets. So let's start off by heading into the trolley that is right here. And we're going to be playing the red light, green light mini game that I've been working on. It used to exist in the game before, but I've made a lot of improvements that I think is going to make it a lot more fun, such as this giant droplet in the back that turns red and green, and also a laser that's not the cutest laser ever, but you know, like what are you going to do? Right now, I'm waiting on an animation for when the laser shoots where the player is going to jump back, and then after that, this game will be complete. Eep. I'm not very good at this game because I get distracted and I keep going, so once we get to the end, I'm going to show off the cute little finish. And oh! We made it! The droplet turns green and gets all happy and starts dancing. And then that's the end of the mini game. And let's show off some other mini games that I've added as well. Trolley. Entrance. So let's just unselect the maze and the flower obby and hide those ones. And check out the maze. I think the maze is a lot of fun. I haven't done the maze generation just yet. I'm waiting till Friday to do that because I'm a little confused and I need a little bit of help. So I have to wait till then. But right now we're just using a pre made maze right here from a very long time ago when we made a my droplets halloween event so we're just gonna go through here and i know exactly how to get to the end but once you get to the end there's a bunch of gems in here and you can collect them all and then once the timer is out then you teleport back to the finish area and then we're gonna hop on one more time just to show the last mini game which is an obby we kind of went with the classic roblox games because i think that's what people find a lot of fun and they're a lot more social as well so here we have a flower obby that i think is really pretty and you just go through and if you fall then you get put back to your spawn. Eey. There we go. Then we'll climb the tree or the flower. It's not a tree, but it's like a tree style. Ah. And then once you get to the end, there's this little hard part where you have to go around this. I don't know if that's gonna work for mobile, so we'll test it out and we might remove it. But then once you finish, you get to go to this area and watch the rest of your friends trying to complete the mini game. So let's see what else is new. Oh, we also updated the cuddle cafe in the game. Oh, and we also added this little feature where you can see who's inside of each area. You know where to find friends, which I think is really useful for social games. And we also added a notification when you enter a new zone. And here's the new cuddle cafe. We're going to be adding in a mini game back here which is almost finished. It's going to allow you to make custom cookies for your droplet so you can take a dough and make shapes and then put them in the oven. And then once they're done, you can frost them. And also up here, I'm adding some little role play features. There's two oven types right now. So I think this might be a little confusing to the player. So I might get rid of this part. But then over here, you can also buy items for your droplet or for you. So you can add little things to your cart here. And then once you're happy, you can buy it. And then you get a bunch of new foods. And so I have a muffin here. I, oh, I fed it to my droplet. I have a banana bread here and I can eat it myself. I made it so that you can feed your droplet this way as well because I noticed it was confusing to some testers that you had to like click on your droplet. But now you can like go into your droplet and feed them or you can do it from here. A new feature that we've added is fishing, which is a pretty cute system if I do say so myself. So you can take this and go over here, click on the water and your little rod will go fishing. And then once you start this mini game, you will just tap here and then once it is done, you will receive a fish. We got a coral tail fish this time and you can either eat it. Oh, I guess it's not working right now, but usually you can eat it. And then over here, you can go to the fish shop and you can see different rods that you can buy that'll let you get more rare fish. And then you can also sell your fish for some gems. 
Thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate it if you made it to the end. Once again, if you want to continue following me along in this journey to make my droplets the best pet game ever, then please subscribe, please like this video, and leave a comment on what you want to see in my droplets. Thank you and bye!